Greetings, YouTube. I'm always really honored to get this submission, but at the same time, I'm nervous as much for the subscriber as they might be for themselves because this is not just Abyss completion. This is the Abyss exploration. My man, Phil Baller, longtime sub, longtime mod of the channel, just explored the Abyss. And other than the six star generic Awakening Gem, Everything else is still a gamble. The tier five class Callist or algorithm based. Uh, everything is obviously the crystals and even the Nexus crystal. We have seen so many people go for Dr. Doom and not land on him. And every time the new featured six star crystal appears and the old featured six star pool goes into the six star basic, your odds of pulling a specific champion go down as the pool gets bigger. So if there's a champion like Dr. Doom that you really want and you know, for example, that there's going to be two or three, uh, six star mystic champions that eventually get into the pool you have the motivation to do it sooner than later now he is not going left he is going right he is going for the cosmic abyss crystal which might be the first time i've seen that all year kind of like the skill video we produced that is exceptionally rare normally it's either mutant or especially mystic cosmic's like less than five percent of the people so that's going to be my takeaway for this video, Phil Baller, regardless of who you get. A Cosmic. Now, Cosmic Ghost Rider is now in this. So maybe, just maybe, he can be the first person to submit a video where he gets Cosmic Ghost Rider. Of course, so are the classic Beyond God tier champs, Captain Marvel movie, Corvus, etc. Um, starting with the five-star, wreaking havoc. You almost wanted that Iron Patriot to land just to hopefully get the uh, ultimate karma with the good six-star luck and get the five-star luck out of the way. Havoc's good, though. Havoc's fine. I've, I've got him as an Awakened 6-star and took him to rank 2. He's a beast, especially at special 3. All right, now we got the RNG of 70 class-based 6-stones. You'd think that there'd at least be 20 generic 6-star six 6-stones six into the Abyss Exploration. Nah, too valuable, apparently, for Kabam. But if he's going for Cosmic, he's looking for a lot of Cosmic 6-stones, and he has 11, which is really good. 14 now, only skill is outpacing that. Can he overtake skill in the last 10? Uh, no, but still. 15, that's really good RNG, my friend. If you're going for science, not so much. Alright. Now, if you have a bunch of 6-star shards like he does, I always say open the basic or featured, whatever you're going for first, but especially basic, because if you're going for the Nexus Crystal... And let's say you think you're going to go for Cosmic Ghost Rider, but you end up landing on Cosmic Ghost Rider. And here, maybe you want to go for Corvus instead if you don't have them. So always open your six-star basic crystals before you open your Abyss Nexus. Though we have had some people who waited weeks, months even, to open their Nexus crystal until the pool uh, expanded. Ebony Coleslaw popping out of the crystal. And just like Coleslaw, it is a very disappointing experience. Unless you're Mama Bear. Mama Bear loves coleslaw. It's always important, Phil Ball and everybody else, to also make sure you turn on Do Not Disturb on your Android or Apple device before you record, just to make sure notifications aren't popping up. We have seen a lot of bizarre notifications over the years. Uh, my personal favorite was when a mom asked a summoner why she wasn't returning his texts during a screen recording of Crystal Opening Commentary. I hope the mom figured the answer out. All right, so far, Yon Dupe. And uh, Ebony Coleslaw, we need something better than all that. And Hulkbuster is much better than that. He already had him, though. The question is, is this a first-time Platinum Star on Hulkbuster? And it is. The ability is awakened. And that is a good pull. Last six-star. Sorry, Trey, you're going to have to wait. Because it was either going to be Mrs. Marvel or... OG Captain Marvel, which is basically the same champion at this point. They both deserve a buff, let's be real. Um, not the most ideal. Not the most ideal, but okay. Now, it's the almost grand finale. It's the two most important uh, rank-up crystals he's going to open. Probably looking for Cosmic, since that's the uh, class of his... Uh, Nexus Crystal for Cable? Uh, no. I, I would say no to that, Phil Baller. No to Cable. Stick with uh, streaming.
if you have to. All right, come on, Cosmic. Come on, Cosmic. Skill? Who you got in skill? For Falcon? That's a better choice than Cable, though still not ideal. No to Cable, maybe to Falcon. That, that, that's my personal vote. All right, here we go. It's the Pep Method and the Six Star Cosmic. First time all year we've seen somebody go with the Cosmic Abyss Nexus Crystal. Will he be rewarded? Cosmic Ghost Rider, please. Corvus is new. That's a good backup. But where's Cosmic Ghost Rider? Where's Cosmic Ghost Rider? Oh, so many trash champions in this crystal. If, he, if Corvus didn't pop up, that would have maybe been the worst Abyss Nexus Crystal I have ever seen. And Fear of Iron Man and Ronin popping up. Yeah, no thanks. This just goes to show how you can have 10 people in the crystal and still not pop up. He almost missed Corvus, Cosmic Ghost Rider, and Captain Marvel movie, which would have been just historically terrible. But thankfully, the first champion in the crystal gave him something to be excited about. And, uh, oh, by the way, you said Falcon for rank 3? But if Stealth Suit Spidey is not rank 3, I would totally do uh, Stealth Suit Spidey as a rank up. Well, there you have it, Phil Baller. Um, our first 2021, almost to April now, submission for the Cosmic Nexus Abyss Crystal, Corvus. You're always going to be happy with that. Uh, and he already had Cole, Obsidian, Awaken, so I guess you didn't need him. But um, obviously, Cosmic Ghost Rider was your first choice. You got your second choice. I'm guessing Captain Marvel Movie was probably your third choice. Either way, have a great one. Thanks for watching. And Phil Baller, congrats on not getting totally the worst luck I've ever seen because it almost happened, but thankfully it didn't.